I'm Ted Cottle, plant doctor at Renfro Hardware. Today we're going to talk about controlling those pesky fall canker worms. And we have a good example right here of how you band. We're talking about banding trees. And this is a, a real good example. I'm going to show you in more detail later. But basically, this yellow is fiberglass insulation. The clear is shrink wrap. And you see we've got about a three inch band here that we're going to apply a product called Tanglefoot. Now let me show you exactly how we do that. Okay, we, this is a tree that has deep fissures and the number one tree they love is willow oak. Anything in the southern red oak family, but they're not, they're not fussy. They'll get on river birch, cherry, dogwood, a lot of different trees. But willow oak, which Charlotte has a lot of, is their number one tree that they like. So you can see I've taken the insulation wrapped around the tree. That's to prevent the female that's going to come out of the ground, crawl up the tree, so she can't go behind through these cracks on the tree. So the next thing we're going to do, we have a choice here. We can either use Gorilla Tape. It's a black material. A couple of rounds of that uh, would work great. But I'm going to use this uh, clear plastic shrimp wrap. So it works really well. It's a fairly cheap product. And so what we're going to do is wrap this right on top of the insulation that we put down here so that the, uh, the insect can't crawl underneath that. So I'm coming all the way around with that. Actually, I'm going to make a couple of rounds just to make it a little bit stronger and uh, make sure I've got it covered completely. So I've got a couple of rounds of that. Now I'm going to staple this. No nails on trees. A uh, staple uh, like this works really well. And you can use that for your insulation. Uh, Thumbtack, something like that would work if you don't have a, a staple gun uh, to do it with. Again, that's, uh, that's shrink wrap. Now what really does the work is this Tanglefoot. And Tanglefoot is a very sticky, it's a tree resin, non-toxic. It'll last for years if you, uh, if you buy a big container of it. We have small, medium, and large at Renfro. And uh, I'm using a putty knife here that I'm going to throw away. Try not to get it on your hands. It's really sticky. It's kind of hard to get off. And so what I want to do, I'm going to put about a sixteenth of an inch of this product in about a three-inch band all the way around the tree. And this is the material that's going to catch the female canker worm as she's crawling up the tree. You go all the way around the tree doing that. The timing on that's really important. Around Thanksgiving, no later than Christmas, that window is when you want to get that on there. About the third or fourth week of uh, November is when they start coming out of the ground crawling up the tree. So uh, this way you catch the female, she can't go up in legs in the top of the tree. It's a great strategy for controlling the uh, canker worm. If you just do this on a community-wide basis, it works a lot better. Uh, anything you can do to reduce their population is, is really good. Leave the banding on there till around tax day, tax day around mid-April would be perfect timing on that. Now we have all these products at Renfro. We've got the, uh, the insulation, we've got the uh, Gorilla Tape, we've got the shrink wrap, and we've got plenty of Tanglefoot in small, medium, and large containers. So if you band your trees and get your neighbors to help band their trees, you'll do a lot to help stop the canker worm epidemic that we have. 